lows dated April the 3rd, 2020 for $610 with terms 4, 10, 215, and 32. This amount will be paid on April the 8th, 2020. How much should Alejandra pay to pay off the full invoice amount? Run the answer to the nearest cent. All right, so let's copy this and let's put it into the Word document, which is uh, right here. So quiz nine, question five. All right, so there we are. So what you are probably wondering is what are these numbers, what do they really mean? Well, a four slash 10 means if the invoice is paid within four days from this date of April the 3rd, then a 10% discount. Oh, sorry, it's the opposite, 4% discount if it's paid within 10 days, all right? Okay, <clears throat> sorry, so say that again. All right, so this 410, 4 slash 10, all right, 4 slash 10 means a 4% discount will be applied to the invoice if the invoice is paid within 10 days from the date of April 3rd, let's put 3, 2020, 20. okay? All right, within 10 days. Maybe if we put the days together, yes, it might look a lot nicer. Okay, so you probably figured out the rest now. So if we get the, the next one would be the two here. Instead of four, we'll put two, and this would be 15. So it would be a 2% discount we apply to the invoice if invoice is paid within 15 days from the date of July of April the 3rd, 2020. And what does N mean? Well, N means the net. N stands for net, means the amount as stated on the invoice. So the company must pay within 32 days there will be no discount, means no discount will be applied to the invoice if the invoice is paid, sorry, not within two days or after, sorry, uh, after 15 days, sorry, after 15 days, but, oops, sorry, but not more than, 32 days from the date of April the 3rd, 2020. If the invoice is paid within 10 days from the date. If the invoice is paid after, sorry, <clears throat> this 2% would be after 10 days, but before, oops, sorry, after 10 days, But before 15 days from the date of April the 3rd, 2020. OK, so a 4% discount if the invoice is paid within 10 days from April the 3rd. So that means you are where? Well, uh, uh, 10 days would be, it would be April the that would be April the 13th, 2020, 
correct? So you'll get 2% discount if it's from when? Well, from April the 14th, 2020 to April 18, 2020. Okay? And then after April 18, then it's you pay the full amount. So we should put here N is equal to the net amount or the amount on the invoice all right which in this case which in this case is 610 dollars all right so net so it must be paid within 32 days from the date of the invoice okay so the <clears throat> amount it's paid on April the 8th, 2020. Okay, so April the 8th, 2020 is how many days? All right, April 8th, 2020 is what? Is what? Is eight, um, eight minus three, correct? Okay, eight minus three, or you could say April eight uh, minus April the third. All right, April third. So that's equal to how many days? Five, five days. Okay, so five days falls within ten days. You see, this is five days is less than ten days. Therefore, a four a four percent discount will be applied to the invoice amount of how much of six hundred and ten dollars. Right. So, all right. So, what's the um, <clears throat> How much should Alejandra pay? All right, to pay off the invoice. So the amount paid. All right, so the amount paid would be equal to 610 minus 4% of six, 610. All right, now we have we have formulas for that. We could use this formula. Let's go back. We can use the formula in here. All right, it's right here. This is the same formula, correct? I know it looks different, but it's N equals L times one minus D. So let's use that one. We could use it. So, um, okay, let's go to next line. And we put in N is equal to L times 1 minus D. Correct? So what is L equal to? L is equal to 610. And what is D equal to? Well, D is equal to 0 0.04. All right, so let's go down. Whoops, sorry. Didn't work very well there. I guess it's on the next page was it probably okay yes we did go over to the next page all right so what that the net the amount paid would be six one zero times one minus zero point zero four okay and then we can go down and put n is equal to six one zero times well we use our calculator one minus point zero four which is equal to zero point nine six so zero point nine six all right and that would be equal to some number so we take our zero point nine six and we multiply by six one zero and the answer is five eight five point six zero five eight five eight five point six zero 
And then, so the answer would be N is equal to 585.60. So the answer, the final answer is 585.60. And we can put that in, highlight it in green. 585.60, and there is the question. So the answer is 585.60, and hopefully we are correct. Yes, wrong the answer to the nearest cent, and it happens that we are correct. So that is Chris 10, question.